Hey there, how's it going guys? This is a video for, to a select few people. It's an unlisted video. It's uh, how to update the NHL algorithm. Um, you guys, it's just a couple of you right now that have subscribed for October and November. Uh, I'm moving all of the videos to private, um, or unlisted I should say, because it just uh, there's a whole lot of reasons, but uh, people are taking advantage of what I'm doing publicly and then threatening me. It's it's hilarious. So um, <laughs> what I'm doing is moving it to unlisted to you guys that that I trust and that uh, have subscribed to me and that I like. Um, I definitely trust you guys that are getting this this email, um, and uh, I'm doing it now just because it's just easier. They can't take advantage of my video if they can't find it, so it's kind of funny. I'm just hiding it in that way for you guys. Now let's talk about um, about NHL because so much has happened. So. Uh, every team has a game now, and and that that's awesome. Um, I want to talk about how you can update this file yourself um, if I'm lagging one day and haven't done it, because it's not that big of a deal to update this file. This is pretty cool. I, I like what the NHL algorithm does. So the first thing you do is you right-click on this Team 22 Stats table here, right-click and just refresh. And when you refresh this one, it's going to go query from um, NHLProReference.com and grab these stats. And they're going to update and look at oh look at that oh my god something weird happened um so actually if it does this it's a good point you need to pull these formulas down um, with your mouse uh, to make sure they go all the way down that's weird that's funny I just refreshed this before uh, I started the video so it changed again now here's some weird stuff is you need to have the team name abbreviation show up on the right and for some reason sometimes it doesn't it's the weirdest thing so this is a very funny thing that this is happening in the video. There you go. Now it works. It's weird that it doesn't do that sometimes. I don't know what the reference lag is and why that happens, but he needs to say the team initials right next to the name, uh, and that, that's connected to the formula. So that's step number one about what you do, and you could just see some troubleshooting about what happens when you do that. So you just right-click and refresh and hope that all the formulas are pulling the names on the left. That's number one. Second thing you do is update the injury report. God damn it. I freaking don't have it. Really? Did I not press injury report already? Son of a... All right, I have to do that still. <laughs> um, I, 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 are you going to go to Rotowire and grab it? I thought I grabbed it. I didn't. Let's pretend I did. I, I've shown the injury report before. This is not the injury report. This is player stats. When you go grab player stats here and you copy all the player stats, this is the NHL player stats for 20, you know, 2021, 20, 22. You grab it, and then there's the P stats sheet right here. And this is where the player stats go. So you paste it right at the top in row three, cell E3 right here. Paste values are just paste, and you're going to get all the players. And the players are going to pop up. And that's great and fine, except when people have streamlined name errors. Streamlined name, er name errors that occur right here mean that a new player has come in that hasn't played before, and they're not in our master list, and we need to add them. So when we filter this, or sorry, sort it, alphabetically and you get to the bottom of the list you see that all the people with errors are going to show up at the bottom of this list here starting right about here and we just have to grab their information Brad Marchant like we didn't have any Bruins in here because they hadn't played a game we're going to grab all these people right here and this is something that you you have to kind of check every day but certainly in the beginning of the season you have to do this frequently every day which is grab this information and put it in one of these sheets um, in the matrix it goes in the matrix and it, you add it to the player name database essentially right here. And you copy the name over twice, which is kind of an annoying thing. I should just make a formula right here. Actually, that's stupid. Let's just do this. Equal sign, this, and voila. You now have everybody's name there. And then we can get rid of that formula just to make the file a little lighter. And so what you have here is, um, is you've just added all those names to the list and now they're not going to have errors anymore. Now they're going to be included in the master uh, the master list, essentially. Um, so, yeah, there's a player pivot sheet. Now they're all going to be in here, essentially. Now, we also need to do this for goalies. So this was the player one. So the player one's done, but let's do the goalie one, which I also downloaded right here. Copy that information. Bring that into the goalie stat sheet. And put it right here in cell F3 it is. And then take a look down. And also you're going to have a similar problem if somebody's streamlined name error occurs like that. We need to add them. 
And those people are right here. It's just this guy on Arizona. So we're going to add him. He's a goalie. And his name is that, right? So now that we've got everybody in there, a couple things still need to happen. In the goalie stat sheet, there's an area for the starting goalies that comes from Rotowire, and you can go there and you can copy and you can paste it. I didn't look at who's starting today in the game today. And this is also where you paste the odds in this sheet. Today's game is showing up Stars versus Senators, and the Senators are home. Does it give us goaltenders? I don't think it does. Stars versus Senators. So what we can do is we can go into the goalie stat sheet, and we can sort all the goalies by team name. I'm not going to go. Actually, I can look at this up on my phone right now, actually. Let's ask Google. Starting goalies Sunday NHL game. Give me an answer, Google. Daily faceoff shows up. It's Anton Kudobin, Kudobin versus Philip Gustafson if Philip Gustafson actually plays. Well, Dallas, Kudobin has played a game, so that's great. If you just put his name right here, it's going to show up and start to put him as starting the game. Philip Gustafson on Ottawa has not played, apparently. That sucks. So you've got to put in Anton Forsberg as a simulator right now, even though even though Philip Gustafson's going to play because he doesn't have any games yet. I don't see him in this list. So that sucks. Um, that's why we're still kind of lagging a little bit. But here you get a prediction. You can copy this, and you can throw it into the cube right here. And... Looks like Capo Kakinen did not start the game yesterday. Pull these formulas down a little bit, and you're going to get a prediction for today's game if all has gone according to plan. Oh, not the not the final score. Let's pull the projected score down. And there's a there's a bad goalie here in this Minnesota game. Apparently, a different Minnesota goalie played yesterday. And if I grab his name. We'll be able to fix that projection, projected score. I know I'm get, getting really complicated. Cam Talbot apparently played, right? So if we put Cam Talbot here, I think that's going to work. Yep, it's going to make things work. So here's the deal. 3.5 to 2, Ottawa beats Dallas somehow, right? But that's with Anton Forsberg in net, and we don't know if that's going to happen. That's because Hudobin apparently had a rough game at the very beginning. So you know, basically we've, we've now – this was a look at uh, Saturday, but looking at Sunday – which is right here, the 17th, the only game that's on here, It, what you can now take from this, which is somewhat reliable now, we have 20, we have the courier stats in here, so we can really start to draw some conclusions even though the stats are light. What it's saying is, yeah, Ottawa somehow wins this game, but we got the wrong goalie in there already, so that, that's a big problem. But here's the other thing. It says he adjusted powers 25% against Dallas' 17. We also need to go get the injury report, because right now we're including everybody, so there's more work we need to do on here. It's not totally final. But also, um, why is this happening? Why is it 25 to 17? Well, if we look at the player pivot, it's going to tell us why. Ottawa and Dallas. Bam. It's going to say that the reason why Ottawa's strength is there is that they have a stronger left wing core versus Dallas. All right. So if we started to look at positions of players, that's apparently what's going on. For Formentin's doing okay. Stutzel, NS is playing well, right? There's different contribution scores for different people. Um, we can start doing a data sort on this. More sort options, descending by contribution score. And also this name can be descending by, descending by contribution score. And I think that'll give you a better look. Yep. There you go. Tyler Ennis apparently playing well, is what that's saying. And on Dallas, Miko Heiskanen, Fox, Foxa, Glenn Denning, where, you know, where the points are coming from, you're going to start to see that. And that way, there's so much you can do with this with fantasy. But of course, we need to fix the injury report, because right now we're including everybody in here. Um, so that's something I need to do to really finalize it. I think, but, but given the fact that 
you see, for example, today that we don't even have any stats for Philip Gustafson, the projected goalie for Ottawa in net. The game is kind of unbettable from an informational standpoint because we, j- we just really still don't have enough information to, to make a good prediction, even though we're here like a week into the season almost, right, or five days into the season. But you can see how we are basically there, and we should be seeing predictions coming um, coming through, coming forward. So that's the update for you, Unlisted Guys. Um Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting. It's one of the reasons why I do this. If I just did it for free for everybody and got threatened by people for no goddamn reason, then I would not be happy doing this. But I appreciate what you do, and and that's why you're watching the video. And uh, if you do one thing today, what do you do? Um, Yeah, you... You watch football. I have to. I have to take a look at football. I guess that's what you do. The hockey game is is too rough to bet on today. That's what you. That's what you don't do today. But I hope you learned something about updating the file, and how it works because it'll be fun to uh, to manipulate and look at going forward. All right. Good luck, everybody. May any pick you make today be winning.